Welcome back to All Shops, Great and Small. There's been some discussion about whether I actually ever do go into the field. And the fact is, I do. And today, we're going to be going somewhere where a wrench this size, two and a half inch. It's common to use a wrench this size where we're going to go. We're going to be heading north on uh, Route 14 up towards Canton, PA. The shop we're going to visit um, is a friend of mine. He's been in the big truck business for a long time. And uh, he started out with uh, dealing with, with just maintenance on big trucks. Uh, then the gas business came up there. And uh, because of the Act 13 money, which is money that the local municipalities get uh, for their roads and however they want to spend it, uh, it's it's money that's spent though in the communities where it's generated. He's since expanded his business uh, into converting trucks for uh, uh, for maintenance on uh, on the highways, whether it's plows and, and uh, he and actually their shop invented a wing plow that goes on a, a, a standard T-tag dump truck, uh, which is a small dump truck that communities, uh, townships use for snow removal and for spread and salt. Thanks. Actually, the Act 13 money uh, was a big benefit for these townships, but right now we're driving on a road that uh, was actually paid for by the uh, gas company. It didn't go through uh, Act 13. So the, the gas business has been a huge benefit to this area. Uh, from our area headed north to the New York border, uh, it's been a, a real benefit of the farmers. And uh, But more than that is uh, all the local businesses have benefited from money being in the community. Incidentally, I'm traveling with my companions today. The mountains in north central Pennsylvania are beautiful, not only this time of year, but all the time. This area uh, was known for Cup Cross Route 6 as one of the best motorcycle routes in the United States. Five years ago, this would have been full of pipeline equipment, but that most of that's done now and it's just a matter of uh, hooking up and drilling some wells. Watson also invented the hot block, which goes on water trucks to keep them from freezing in the winter. It, it heats the outlet. We're just going to barge right in here like we have in the place. Hey, how's it going? Good. Big mill manifolds. Big machine work. But EPI can show up. I came here one day and the guy brought him his big truck in on a trailer and I was going to have Frank listen to it and see whether he could tell him what was wrong so he could decide whether to go back home and fix it himself. We're going to check something out here. A diagnosis of sorts. This is a 5.9 meter jacketed Cummins engine that has a noise in it. Chris, the owner, is going to start it. So if the rod goes through the block, and we're not responsible. Look out. Don't stand in line yeah. 90 degree with your crankshaft. It's out of fuel. Oh, 
Well, that is an odd sound. Let's see what kind of... Well, I see the boss is in today. Good seeing you, Frank. Hi, Bob. Hey, we're just checking your place out here, and I, I'd like ah. to... I wondered if you could take me over to your motorcycle shed. Oh. I know this isn't a show about motorcycles, but... No. Could you take a minute and show me your place? Oh, sure. sure. This is the room now. This is the one that that you can really waste a lot of time in. Yeah, we do. This is Frank's ice racer here, and we're going to have a picture of that in operation here real soon. Looks like it's set up for the uh, dirt track up yes. at Owego. Yes, yes. Took the dirt ice tires off. Are you going to race? I might ride. I don't know if I'll be doing any racing there. I might be doing some exhibition riding. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We found our way over to the other shop, the fab shop, we'll call it, and we ran into the real boss, the person who <laughs> runs the show, who makes sure that at the end of the week there's at least a dollar left, and all the other details dealing with the state. Glenda Watson and Frank Watson. Okay, we're heading out now. Okay, here we're coming up on on the fab shop. Truck boxes in stock and uh, yeah, he's got a paint booth in here that he can uh, paint a tractor trailer. Looks like a lot of them standing around though. Quite an operation. This is a typical job, a brand new truck. Getting all the hydraulics put on it. A whole lot of work. Electronics and, and hydraulics for putting a, a spreader. Beautiful work. Yeah, you have to be, <laughs> no. yeah, this is Ryan. Yeah. You're the painter. Yeah. And this is Madeline. Hi, Madeline. She's, yeah, she is. You know, I'm from CBS. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you probably. No, that's not the wing plow. And that's not a wing plow. There's my traveling oh, companion. Well, Frank, I appreciate your time, and we're going to head down the road now, Thanks. and you have quite an operation, and uh, the town of Canton should be real proud of what you do, uh, not only employing lots of people, but you're on the sewer authority, the water authority, yeah. uh, can you name something I'm else? I'm not really proud of all of them, uh, Well, it, they're real... Just serving my time. You don't have to well, I, no, I don't. I don't do a lot. But. Okay, we're going to say goodbye now, and uh, thank you for your time Thanks, again. You. North Central Pennsylvania, God's country. All shops, great and small. <laughs>